Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here and welcome back to my channel. Is this the new food of the future? If today's consumers are looking for food that not only tastes great, but is also good for them, with no harmful effects, then microalgae could be the one they are looking for. Don't you know that microalgae can be made into powder, butter, oil, and flour? And it can also be incorporated into all types of food products like burgers, beverages, baked foods, ice creams, and many, many more. And it can even be incorporated into cosmetic products as well. To better understand, let me show you some factual information. Fooddive.com stated, Microalgae, a tiny ingredient packing a macro punch for food makers. The organism, which is expected to post sales of 44.7 billion by 2023, has ascorbic acid, protein, and omega-3 fats, giving it nutritional benefits sought by consumers looking to eat healthier. While Frontiersin.org stated, trends in microalgae incorporation into innovative food products with potential health benefits. Microalgae have demonstrated potential to meet the population's need for a more sustainable food supply especially with respect to protein demand. These promising protein sources present several advantages over other currently used raw materials from an environmental point of view. Another article from ScienceDaily.com stated, Marine Microalgae, a new sustainable food and fuel source. Taken from the bottom of the marine food chain, microalgae may soon become a top-tier contender to combat global warming as well as energy and food insecurity, according to a study by researchers. And to better understand more about this type of food, let me show you the production and some facts behind it. Take a look. So this cookie here, it's just kind of like an enhanced cookie in that it'll have more protein in yes. it. Yes, so this is, I would like you to yeah, try yeah, This is yeah. a regular see, cookie. Back to the cookie. I'm ready to eat it the looks cookie. Like, and it just has omega-3, omega-6, omega-7, and a significant amount of protein, uh -huh. but it tastes pretty good. Go okay. ahead. Tastes like a normal, like a sugar cookie. This algae is called nanochloropsis. Unlike most crops, it doesn't require fresh water to flourish. That's a big deal. Today, 70% of the planet's available fresh water goes towards crops and raising livestock. The beauty of our harvesting system is that we're able to recycle 95 to 97% of our water crystal clear and just keep using it over and over and over again. Four particular microalgae species are being looked at here. They are able to produce omega-3, a fatty acid used as a dietary supplement and an antioxidant which has uses in the cosmetic industry. But before anything, the microalgae needs to be taken good care of. One of the interesting things about algae that leads to the much more higher yield than traditional crops is actually that we do this year round. With corn, you plant once, you harvest once. Right. But this stuff, we might harvest a single pond as much as two or three times a week. Don't you know that your body needs protein? And microalgae is a very good source of protein. Take a look at this. This strain is about 40% protein and contains all of the essential amino acids humans need. This is the final product from the farm. This is your green gold right here. Yes, ma'am. Meat has those nutrients too, but it uses up a lot more of our finite resources like water and land, not just for the animals, but to grow their food too. As for other plant proteins, some estimates say that algae can produce seven times the amount of protein that soybeans could on the same amount of land. Aside from protein, it contains essential fatty acids, which are important to our body, and many, many more. Watch. Fish has so far been the main source of omega-3, but its extraction has been considered inefficient and unsustainable, as most fish species are fully exploited or overexploited. Scientists here are convinced that microalgae are a more viable alternative. This is the final product from the farm. Omega-3 concentration in microalgae is much higher than in fish. It's crucial to understand that the omega-3 from microalgae is much more natural. Fish do not naturally produce omega-3. It basically accumulates it by feeding on microalgae. So through this process, we are just going straight to the primary source of omega-3. So, 
Are you ready to eat this new promising food of the future? For me, if it's really a kind of food full of nutrients that our body needs and that is good for our health without any harmful effects, then why not? Anyway, that's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.